being birthed to a family with little or no financial capacity sometimes can affect how you grow up. And this is the story of LeBron James. From being raised by a single mother to skipping schools and having to survive on menial jobs, let's take a look at the family of the great LeBron James. Gloria James was born to Frida James on the 4th of February, 1968. She grew up in Akron, Ohio, and was only 16 years old when she gave birth to LeBron. LeBron's father, Anthony McClelland, who was Gloria's casual partner, left her after realizing that she was pregnant. At first, she had her mom to lean on or help out with raising LeBron. However, a heart attack stole her mom away on Christmas morning when she was just 19. Gloria was left to take care of LeBron and her two brothers. She struggled financially and frequently had to relocate to take up jobs. Gloria also often struggled to maintain the household on a tight budget and after her mother's death it just became a losing battle. She had not completed her education due to her pregnancy so she was unable to find a stable job to pay their bills. She was merely living on side jobs. When LeBron was five, one of the homes Gloria had moved into was condemned and bulldozed by the city. LeBron and his mother moved 12 times in the span of three years. He moved from school to school where friendships started and ended every few months. He missed nearly a hundred days of school in fourth grade because he couldn't afford it. The one constant thing in his life was the assurance that his mother was always there for him. When LeBron clocked nine, Gloria realized she could not give him what he needed most, which was the grounding of a family. She had been raised in a large house with her two brothers, cared for by her mother and grandparents, and surrounded by an extended family of friends and neighbors. It was the source of her values, and she wanted the same for LeBron. This meant putting him into someone else's hands. It was the hardest decision of her life, but she decided to leave him with his then basketball coach, Frank Walker, who later introduced LeBron to basketball. She was reported to have said, quote, it was difficult, but it wasn't about me. It was about him. He needed stability at that point in his life. End quote. Fast forward to a few years for his birthday in 2003, a few months before the NBA draft, Gloria gave him a Hummer H2 worth around $50,000. You might be wondering where she could have gotten such an amount of money. Well, according to reports, she took out a loan to gift him the expensive vehicle, which caused quite a stir, and investigations were launched to determine the source of the lavish gift. The investigators, however, yielded no results. Although Gloria was rumored to be in a few relationships, she never got married. In 2013, she was said to be in a relationship with Miami-based rapper Daryl Lambeau. Although there is no evidence that the two were ever married, the rapper referred to her as his wife on two occasions, once while they were living together, and the other in a video in which he threatened LeBron for coming between him and his wife. Their relationship, however, did not last long, with LeBron reportedly ending it after he discovered the rapper was cheating on his mom. There were also wild rumors linking Gloria to her son's then-teammate Delonte West, who later married Caressa Suzette during the 2009-2010 season. Now, let's look at the man who got Gloria James pregnant. I guess we can't even really call him LeBron James' father because he never had any relationship with him. When it comes to identifying LeBron James' biological father, Anthony McClellan's name comes up. Although he had no involvement in his son's upbringing, even his identification remains a mystery. Gloria and Anthony went to the same high school in Akron, Ohio, where he was well known for his basketball skills. Man, no wonder LeBron ended up being so good at basketball. Anthony was arrested and absent on multiple occasions throughout LeBron's childhood for arson and theft. He did, however, attempt to rekindle his relationship with LeBron in 2002, but but nothing ever came of it. He's also the father of a second child, Aaron McClellan Gamble. LeBron was the famous one, but not the only one Anthony abandoned. LeBron James sees his father's absence as a positive and therapeutic influence that pushed him to greater heights. Who knows how different LeBron's life and career would have been if he had a present father. He might not have had that drive to become the legend he is today. LeBron might not have had a present father, but no matter who he faced on the court, he always had the support of his wife, Savannah Brinson. Savannah Rachel James Brinson is an American philanthropist and entrepreneur who was born on the 27th of August, 1986. She was raised in Akron, Ohio as the youngest of five children born to JK and Jennifer Brinson. Savannah and LeBron have a love story that dates all the way back to the early 2000s. LeBron was 17 at the time and attending St. Vincent St. Mary High School where he had been recruited to play on the basketball team. Savannah, who was 16 at the time, grew up in the same Ohio city as LeBron, but she attended a rival high school. The teenagers met when a mutual friend informed Savannah that LeBron had requested her phone number. 
She then opted to take LeBron's number instead. One day, she was sitting around doing nothing when she decided to give LeBron a call. After the call, LeBron invited her to one of his basketball games. Not long after, LeBron asked Savannah out on a date to have dinner at an Outback Steakhouse. Reflecting back on their early days, Savannah once admitted that she didn't know much about LeBron's basketball talent. Despite being unaware of LeBron's talent on the court, she took it in stride and LeBron has never forgotten it. He also once revealed that she was with him even when he had nothing and he credited her for being a motivational factor for his success. In 2003, LeBron graduated high school and was the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. Then, Savannah found out she was pregnant during her senior year of high school that same year. Her first reaction was fear, but LeBron reassured her that they would handle the unexpected news gracefully. Savannah gave birth to their first child, LeBron James Jr., also known as Bronny, on the 6th of October, 2004. Bryce Maximus was born nearly three years later on the 14th of June, 2007. On New Year's Eve, 2011, LeBron got down on one knee and proposed to his high school sweetheart after being together for over a decade. LeBron and Savannah got married on the 14th of September, 2013 at the Capella a Chapel Grand Del Mar Hotel in San Diego. A total of 200 family and friends attended the three-day celebration, including teammate Dwayne Wade, who was accompanied by Gabrielle Union, Jay-Z, and Neo. A year later, on the 22nd of October 2014, LeBron and Savannah had their third child, a daughter named Zuri. LeBron and Savannah are now stronger than ever. Savannah works on philanthropic efforts to empower girls and young women. And just like LeBron, she shares a certain humility. She got her start in philanthropy as a volunteer at the then new LeBron James Family Foundation, where she did things like check participants and their families in at the organization's annual bikeathon. In 2013, she held her first ever I Promise Makeover, an annual event in which economically challenged girls recommended by Akron's public high school guidance counselors choose free senior prom dresses from hundreds of new gowns, accessorize them at a jewelry table, and pick up gift cards to purchase shoes. The event was inspired by friends who did not attend prom because their families could not afford to dress them. Savannah not only helped plan I Promise shopping sprees, but also met with several guidance counselors and other school liaisons so she could learn all about each girl's challenges. She also began a mentorship program called Women of Our Future. Women of Our Future was inspired by her own teenage lack of self-esteem and the struggles that many women face. While she had a strong support system in the form of her mother, she sometimes sought out other mentors. Savannah's children are, of course, the most important young people in her life. According to her, her parenting style is to be more of a realist than strict. She works hard to present an accurate picture of the world to her kids, one in which people would not always be on their side to support them. Bronny has been a viral sensation for most of his life as the oldest son of his superstar dad. And while he has established himself as a top high school basketball player in the 2023 class, he has amassed an even larger social media following, including more than 6 million Instagram followers. Before even stepping foot on a college campus, his name recognition and connections elevated him to the status of basketball royalty. As a result, he is the most valuable high school athlete in the era of name, image, and likeness, but he's more than just a viral sensation on social media. Bronny is a star on the court as well, and his father has revealed that he hopes to play with him someday. Bryce Maximus James, the second son and middle child of LeBron, is also following in his father's footsteps and may one day become a successful NBA player just like LeBron. At the time of this video, he is currently attending Sierra Canyon School. In 2019, young Bryce transferred to Sierra Canyon School in Los Angeles, California. He is still quite young for the rankings, however, he has excelled on the basketball court and has the potential to become a professional athlete. Bryce is said to be 6 feet 6 inches tall. According to USA Today, his father referred to him as, quote, the best shooter in the household. And given how excellent he has been in recent times, there is no doubt that he has a bright future ahead of him. LeBron may be the most well-known member of his family, but his daughter Zuri James is poised to take over the spotlight one day. While Zuri is the crew's youngest member, she is far from the least adored. The seven-year-old has quite the social media presence, and when she appears on LeBron's or her mother Savannah James' social media pages, she quickly becomes the center of attention. Zuri is a YouTube star with her own channel, All Things Zuri, which features her parents sometimes. So, hey, she's also doing pretty well for herself. We cannot overemphasize the importance of family family and mothers especially. You can check out our other videos on how family helped push some of these stars.